In this demonstration, we're going to test the Rosemont 3051 pressure transmitter with an input range of 0 to 200 inches of water while verifying the milliamp output range of 4 to 20 milliamps. Connect the test leads from the output of the 719 to the power connections on the transmitter. Then, make a pneumatic connection between the input of the transmitter to the output of the 719. Power up the transmitter with the loop power supply. We'll measure the milliamp signal drawn from the power supply that is provided by the 719. Initially, we see the milliamp signal being measured and the pressure that's being applied. In the first step, we want to measure zero inches of water. The best way to do this is to vent the atmosphere. We do that with these controls. Open the vent valve. The vent valve can be opened or closed. Open for measuring the zero inches of water point. This pressure vacuum switch allows you to pump either positive pressure or negative pressure. For this example, we're going to measure positive pressure. First, we apply zero inches of water. Measure four milliamps. Any deviation from four milliamps is calibration error. Next, close the vent valve. The next test point, 50%, is 100 inches of water. We'll use the electric pump to generate 100 inches of pressure. Once the 719 gets close, you can use a vernier to adjust exactly 100 inches of water and verify for 12 milliamps. Any deviation from 12 milliamps being measured is calibration error in the transmitter. The last step is to test the full scale pressure value of the transmitter, 200 inches of water. Use the electric pump to generate 200 inches of pressure. Use the fine adjust in the pump to dial in the value to exactly 200 inches and verify for 20 milliamps. With 200 inches of water applied, the deviation between measured milliamp value and 20 milliamps is the calibration error of the transmitter.